So let's look at the following example. A baseball player pitches with a speed of 40 meters per second. Now we want to find our acceleration of the ball during the pitch while the ball is still in the person's hand. We're going to make the assumption that our ball travels on a linear path and it travels a displacement or a distance in this case of 3.4 meters. Now we're also going to make the assumption that we have constant acceleration and that simply means that at the point the person begins the pitch to the point the person releases the ball, our ball travels a distance or displacement of 3.4 meters and our ball accelerates at a constant acceleration. So we want to find what our constant acceleration under these conditions is. So let's look at the variables that we know. So we know our initial velocity, which is simply at this point, at the point the person begins the pitch, and our velocity is zero meters per second. Our final velocity, the velocity before the person releases the ball, is 40 meters per second. Now our initial pos <coughs> position of our ball at this point is zero. <coughs> our final position of the ball at this point before the person releases the ball is 3.4 meters as assumed here. So basically we know four variables, we don't know one variable, acceleration, so we can use this equation directly to find our acceleration. So we basically plug in 40 meters per second here, we plug in 0 meters per second here, we plug in nothing for the A because we don't know the A, that's our unknown, and we plug 0 for I or xi and zero for xf. So we basically get 40 meters squared, which gives us 1600 equals zero meters squared, which gives us zero plus 2a, the unknown, uh, multiplied by 3.4 minus zero, which is simply 3.4. So this cancels out, and then we can bring the two and the 3.4 to this side, so we can divide through, and we get 1600 meters squared divided by a second squared divided by 2 times 3.4 meters which is simply 6.8 so one of the meters cancel we get meters per second second which is acceleration and after we divide by this we get approximately three, uh, 236 meters per second second that's a very very fast acceleration and the direction of our acceleration is in the same direction as our velocity so if our velocity is going this way in that direction so is our acceleration